Hello friends, welcome to the next video on the SQL series. In this series, we are learning about the SQL joins. In the previous video, we have seen the right join. Let us look into the left join, which is available in SQL. So you can see on my screen, there is table A and table B. So the leftmost table, all the rows have come up in our results. So the common columns which are present in, bo in both the tables would come up plus all the rows which are present in, in table A that would also come up. Now let us move to the editor. Now let me perform a left join on the same operation and let's see what is the difference in the result. So you can see all the cutty, all the columns which are present in the leftmost table have come up. In this case, the leftmost table is the customer details column. So you can see one, two, three, four, five customer details have come up here. While the null value comes up, that clearly means customer ID three has not placed any order yet. Is this so? Let us just verify. And that is absolutely correct because we can't see any details for customer ID three if they have placed any order yet. So friends, this was a basic concept on the left join, which is available in MySQL. Let us advance a bit and let us change and see few of the results. What, what happens? So friends, one, one concept, which I wanted to explain you was what if we get, if we get this customer ID from table B, what do you think? What would happen? You can see despite me giving a left join the entry for the row number customer id 3 has not come up in our table in our result and the reason is quite amusing because when we do a left join all the columns which are present in the leftmost table should come up this does not happen in this particular this particular case so this is the basic difference when we give this alias name and then we are telling this alias to present the the rows or the values from this particular table so b dot customer id means that we are telling our code to present all the common elements if found from the order order details table now since there is no entry only for customer id so that value has not come up Therefore, it is showing as null here. Now, if we replace B with A, we would be getting the three value. Let us just run the code by changing. And you can see three has come up because now we are telling our code to get the customer ID values from the table A. The last column order ID remains as null because there is no order placed by the customer ID S3. So therefore it is showing as null. So friends, I hope this has improved your concept on the left join, which is available in MySQL. I thank you a lot for watching this video and hope to meet you in the next videos.